Y'all knew this was coming. Haven't done a food craft in a while. You know I love food crafts. Today is all about carving pumpkins. And I know that I'm not gonna be allowed to just do my normal triangle eyes, am I? I even got one of these fancy kits that I'm always too cheap to buy. This should make my job easier. It is nice that these kits, I didn't know they provided stencils, so that's good. However, I don't think it's gonna work. Welcome. Welcome to my home. Nobody wants to see welcome. They all wanna see a face. Oh, they have levels. Four is the hardest. Okay, I'll pick a four. I wanna do the gooey ghost. It only has two pumpkins, but it looks pretty hard. And my carving skills are that of a three-year-old. How about that? Okay, so what do you do? I mean, tape the pattern to your pumpkin. Oh wait, I probably still have to open the pumpkin and get the stuff out first. Or are these one of those pumpkins now where they don't even cut all the way through, you just see the flesh? Cheaters, this whole thing is stupid. I don't know, pumpkin contests are not stupid. That's a fun family activity, but it should still be triangle eyes, upside down triangle nose, crooked mouth. All right, first I'm gonna gut my pumpkin. Are these supposed to work? Ooh, well I be damned. I would always look at these tools and think, there's no way. This is a lot safer than using a big butcher's knife. Maybe I will splurge and get the kit. My kids can do their own pumpkins. But then my husband won't have a job. And who roasts the seeds? That's way too much work. You buy that stuff. And they do not taste good. The thing I will cheat on now that is better than my childhood are the battery operated candles that go in here. Much safer for when you forget to blow it out. Oh yeah. I love this little knife. Get in the Halloween spirit, people. Okay, back into it. I think my daughter would like to do the gut part because she loves things that are satisfying. Thanks, you two. It's hard to get all those little strings. See, the people that carve the pumpkins without getting the guts out are just lazy. There was a time when I was in culinary school. My roommate and I decorated a pumpkin for each other. The faces were still old school. Then we dressed them up. She had mine dressed up like a chef and I had hers dressed up like a dietitian. I don't know about you, but I don't carve my pumpkin till no more than three days before Halloween. I don't want that stuff rotting out on my front porch. Then you go to the pumpkin patch and each kid thinks they have to get their own pumpkin. Not this mom. We still get one per family. Oh, and the pumpkin patch have the most expensive pumpkins. If you're smart, you get your pumpkin at like Aldi or somewhere. I do like the idea of people like with the drills that just like drill a bunch of holes in there and then you just put a light in. The kids don't want the pretty pumpkin. They want the scary pumpkin or the silly pumpkin. And don't even get me started on painting the pumpkins. I mean, you're just robbing your kids of all the childhood memories. Okay, all taped up and ready to go. Just don't think mine's gonna look like this picture. Okay, here's what you do. It looks like I carve in the black lines. That's what I'm going with. What are the holes for? It doesn't really give you instructions. Oh, look, look in the back. Instructions, carve out the guts first. At least I did that. Oh, I was supposed to wet it, but I didn't. The pattern I chose has all these little dots on it. And you can use this little poker to trace your design. It's kind of like cheating. And then I'm supposed to get, like take the paper off. Oh no, I won't be able to do that. No, I need the picture to stay here. Plus it'll save time because I don't want to poke all those little holes in here. I feel like I need my pot of chili on. Doesn't everybody eat chili on Halloween? I'll eat it if it's 100 degrees outside. My plan to just cut it with the paper on isn't really working either. Maybe I should have poked it. This was not supposed to be this hard, but y'all are the ones that are gonna have to wait while I poke all these daggum holes in here. This has only a two out of four difficulty level, and I think it's pretty tedious. If you wanted a ghost pumpkin, you would just do circle eyes and just one circle mouth. Now this might all be very bad. I can tell you what, I'm gonna do my eyes circles. I think it'll still work. Actually, this might be a good task for your kids. They could do all the hole punching. I hope they are playing some good music in this video. I'm still a fan of trick-or-treating. I mean, every kid should experience that. Gone are the days where they carry the, the plastic pumpkin because that's not nearly big enough. Boring. It's kind of like coloring, as long as you stay in the lines. The thing is, the poker is not that strong, so you gotta like give a little elbow grease. I mean, I think this is a good idea. What I have that's not included is an imagination. Now I'm supposed to take this off and know where to cut. Can you see that? Now let's hope that I can cut around the circles. I feel like I'm about to cut my hand if it slips. Now you gotta go back in here and clean it up. Oh, that's probably a different tool. I like Halloween. 
I'm really glad that it's a one day affair and not a whole season, even though the whole month of October feels like Halloween sometimes. Oh, yeah. You still can't tell what it is, but this is gonna be the ghost. Probably haven't watched a scary movie since. Scary movie, isn't that what it's called? With Courtney Cox in it? I don't get out much. The one with the white face got Scream. Scream is the last scary movie I saw. I do remember Freddy Krueger and Jason. I didn't know Michael as much. I thought Michael Myers is Mike Myers. Freddy or Jason? I'm gonna have to say, I guess I'm a Jason more because I remember the hockey mask. Were those movies called Halloween? Oh, I used to love haunted houses, but they're near death experiences now. I think they're really out to kill you in those things now. We used to play Ghost in the Graveyard or I See a Booger, or maybe that was the same game. So Ghost in the Graveyard is everyone would go hide outside in the dark and one person was the it and the other person was the tour guide. And then you would go to just different places in the yard and you'd say like, this is Mr. Old Oak Tree. He has been here since 1715. And you'd make up a story about the tree. And then you would move to like the car. And let's say there's somebody hiding in the car and the tour guide would know where everyone's hiding. And he'd say, and this car has lots of zombies in it and also ghost in the graveyard. And then everybody'd pop out and they'd run to wherever base was. And that could be all wrong. Like it would get everybody just scary enough because everybody was outside. I'll tell you where everybody was not was inside on their smartphone. I feel like I did not leave enough room for eyes. And yes, I'm freehanding the eyes to show you all my artistic talent. I'm gonna tell you right now, mine does not look like the picture. I really hope one of my kids just wants to be a ghost this year. Pretty good, eh? Eyes is the body. These are supposed to be like hands or something. I mean, ghosts do not have fingers. I'm about to call it a day because I don't see how I'm supposed to give him fingers. All right, I'll give it a try. I keep wanting to carve out his finger, but then it's gonna be a hole, right? Look, I give up. He's not gonna have hands. That's just all there is to it. Just wait, it's like being at the barber shop. I gotta like get it all cleaned up before I turn around and show the mirror. Time for the big reveal in the mirror. Yay! You can't really tell how good it is till it's all lit up. Going old school, real candle, cause that's just all we had. But I told you I'm a fan of the electric. <laughs> Might not look like the picture, but it's pretty good. Don't be intimidated by my pumpkin design. You can stick to your triangle eyes and be just fine. But more importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this page. Boom! Cause this is thriller. Ooh, ooh, thriller.